Welcome Pisces to your love reading for the week of July 27th, 28th, and 29th, a weekend special. So we're going to see what's going on with you. Now, um, I had some jumping cards that popped out. So, um, I feel like a lot of you, you may be working hard, you might be busy, it could be overtime or whatever you might be doing, but you are um, maybe very intensely aware of somebody that is um, kind of getting on your last nerve or, you know, that's really bothering you and uh, something that's bothering you emotionally. Some, uh, we'll see what it might pop out. So um, let's see what's going on with you. So uh, Pisces, so the overall energy between you and the love interest or your uh, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, or romantic partner. So let's see, overall energy between you two. So do have the chariot. Things are moving forward. Now, sometimes this is taking a road trip with your partner, going out and about, having a good time. Things are moving forward. So you're feeling confident and things are kind of moving your way. So it just depends on what it might be. But this is a, a good card. You could be dealing with a, um, a cancer for some. Now, what is the energy of person that's coming towards you for Pisces? Energy of person coming towards you. Now, that person may be, they might have some thoughts that they can't let go of. Um, whatever you've done to them what they've done to you something that they can't get off their mind of what people might think about them um things that they've done it just depends there so being trapped and stuck in their own fears or in the past and not being able to kind of move forward so it's like some kind of um harsh energy between you and them and constantly going back over it and over it again in their mind and uh, needing to let that go though so let's see what is your response what is your response Pisces? So if you know it's if they're holding on to something that is kind of getting in the way of you two moving forward together, um, I feel like you are kind of being emotionally detached from doing you, and kind of sticking true to a decision that you do make. So um, being independent and not really concerned about maybe something that they're holding on to. If it's grudge, if it's something very negative, I feel like they have to work on that themselves because you can't really change how somebody might be thinking or what they might be doing so you kind of uh, do your own thing i feel some of you might be dealing with inquiries before gemini now what's their response what's their response now they do have a decision that they're making i feel and we'll look into what that might be um let's see clarify the two of swords in reverse for the response so they they might be making a decision when it comes to you all right for some and it still seems that they are back and forth about how they did it or what they've done or how you two might communicate but the lover's card in the upright position with the chariot does look good for things moving forward with you and them but it does require that you stick true to how you feel you know what you might believe in and how you feel that you need to be treated or how things should be done you know in a respectful way or um, just kind of allow them to kind of hear you and know what you feel so I feel like um, that is good let's clarify the two of swords in reverse one more time yes yeah, so they are letting they, they're letting something come it seems like they've made a decision to do something to move forward they still have some things on their mind where they're a bit um, trapped and a bit stuck for some of you out there um, now others of you you're dealing with somebody who they did something wrong all right and now they they continuously do it wrong they continuously make bad decisions or whatever it might be and now that that's the reality of what you know now some of you are giving off the energy of having to make a decision to move forward and to move away from a certain connection because maybe they've been dealing with two different people or whatever it might be for you and you having to let that go and they having to let go as well but there does seem to be something positive either way you go about it we'll look into it a bit more so what is your advice for Pisces? advice do have the knight of cups and this tells you that something is coming in someone is around you or wanting to um, get to know you romantically it tells you to be open to it to um it's coming in slowly but surely but it is there and for you to just be open to this connection and not to you know push it away prematurely um and don't feel like this particular person it could be a water sign pisces scorpio cancer it doesn't have to be it's someone that's going to be bad or toxic for you all right let's see the outcome for pisces potential outcome 
we do have the world is in reverse so there are issues where something has happened and you don't have complete closure on it because there are things that you have to talk about that you have to communicate and have that discussion and kind of you know um, see where you stand with somebody or why certain things have happened now doesn't mean that you're going to get everything or the information or things are going to be factual but um, I feel like either way you still might want to close the door but you really can't because it's on your mind but it doesn't mean that it's not shut for some um, you see what I mean so I feel like there is somebody that's around they're choosing to come towards you it could be a few different people you have um, two different people showing up here but it just depends now let's see clarify the um, clarify the six of swords in reverse for the personal energy coming towards you yeah that person that person is it seems like they have some things going on about something that happened sexually um, something some kind of regret something that they've done or the way that they think about a particular situation it, it might be something that scarred them or might be scarring you in some way and they maybe they still constantly do these things or they still have bad memories about something that happened between you two so even if that's the case you're still having to kind of say you know I can't you can't change certain things you can't tolerate certain things so you have to kind of let something go so if it's just a lust kind of thing uh, others of you getting real with that you either accept it or you kind of move on from that and you know allow someone else to come, come in so and clarify the knight of cups for Pisces let's see yeah, that person they, they're coming through could be dealing with the Taurus but that particular person is coming through and either one of you might shut each other down so like that's why I was mentioning like a premature kind of thing not giving a person a certain chance or going through like an argument and then there's like a separation or a divorce that comes through so yes the tension is there between you and somebody but I feel like if anything things are moving forward in the right direction that's going to be personally for you okay so um, let's look into Let's look into the full moon energy. A lot of different things going on. So um, just be open to um, some good things coming through or people being around or somebody reaching out to maybe just uh, be around you or get to know you. So see the energy for Pisces. So we have let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. And this is socializing, having a good time. And if you feel like you have moved on from someone and you know it's the end you're letting that go you know have a good time with others and you never know who you might run into romantically who could really be good for you all right and let's see other energy for Pisces for July 27th 29. Oh. and we have stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance and that's pretty much what you need to do um, with this energy of the chariot, you know, travel, maybe have a good time, maybe, you know, enjoy that road trip or take on it, make plans for it, or just um, enjoy yourself, have fun, and just uh, disconnect from the things that's going to, you know, take you down a road of being drained or um, building up negative energy between you and someone else or just for you in general. So that's going to be a reading. Tons of love, lots of light to you, tons of healing vibes. I wish you the best. And you can always go to the website, psychicloveheals.com, to schedule something for you. Have a good one.